This world is filled with needy people. We all know there are so many needs, it's hard to know where to start. I would like to show you a group of people that is functioning as the hands and feet of Jesus Christ. Come with me on a short trip to the Siguatapeque area of Honduras. But lest we look at these people as merely numbers, let's slow things down a little bit and take a look at the people who came to our STAR Team medical clinics. The Medical STAR Team of Bible Basics International spent eight days ministering God's love both medically and spiritually to people who are often overlooked. During the five days, we saw 711 patients, 106 people accepted Christ as their Savior, 132 people gained assurance of their salvation, 51 people rededicated their lives to God, and we prayed with 326 people. We work through local churches, so the people in the area connect the love and care we show them with a Bible-believing church. All the medical care and medicine are provided free of charge to those who come to our clinics. Each patient's vitals are taken along with the medical needs they have. They are then seen by the next available physician who will carefully examine them and then prescribe whatever treatment or medicine is needed. Before the patient leaves, the doctor will ask them if they know where they will spend eternity. If they don't know or are unsure, they are then asked if they would like to speak with a counselor who would help them understand what God's Word says about eternal life. After their counseling session, each patient is brought to the pharmacy where they are then given the medication they need along with a careful explanation on the dosing. Yesterday, um, a lady came in and she was so excited about the counseling. She kept saying just over and over again what a blessing it was, how lovely it was. And she turned to everybody beside her, oh, did you go to counseling yet? It was so nice. You should go to counseling. It was beautiful. So that was really neat to see too, just um, the fruits of what we were hoping for. These little children come to see the doctors from Canada and, and the States and it's a whole strange environment to them. They're pretty scared. And uh, one nine-year-old girl, I was uh, having to remove uh, a little growth out of her, uh, off of her arm, uh, which I did. She was crying, of course, understandably, and not very happy. The whole procedure went very well and fairly quickly. And then I moved on to other patients or lots of other patients. And then at the end of the day, she came back in and looked at me and I thought, oh. And then she came up and she put her arms around me and gave me the biggest hug ever. It was wonderful. We have a lot of glasses that have been donated from uh, different optometrists. Plus we also have some discontinued glasses from another company that are for reading. And I really feel like that those were the ones that were uh, helped significantly. Yesterday there were some people that could only read like the first two lines on the chart and you gave them the glasses and they could read three more lines and they were so happy. A lot of them said, I want to be able to read my Bible. So it was very satisfying to be able to uh, give them glasses that uh, would help them to read the Word of God and, and, and grow in their faith. This has been a phenomenal week here with the STAR team. This is my first time in Honduras with this amazing team. So many levels, everyone steps up, does their job, and goes above and beyond. It's been a real honor to be here, to help the people of Honduras, to work with this amazing team. It's very fulfilling for both myself, and I think the people of this country are benefiting greatly from it. I can go home with my head high knowing that everyone here has done a phenomenal job and has uh, spread the word and spread health throughout the world. If you would like more information about how you could be part of a STAR team, please call 813-920-2264 or email starteams at biblebasics.org.